Hi, it's Liz Evans of Hands On Body Works again, and I wanted to share with you guys today about something that is so powerful, something that brings about so much transformation in a holistic way in your body, your mind, and spirit. It connects everything. Now, I'm a believer, and I, I worship God. I, I want to worship with my whole heart, my whole soul, my whole mind, and my whole body. And sometimes, sometimes it can be kind of weak. Sometimes it's just going through the motions. And for any of us, no matter where we come from, going through the motions doesn't cut it. Going through the motions keeps us trapped. So I want to focus today on what I consider to be a powerful healing tool, incredibly powerful. Um, it's the idea of singing. Now, I'm going to come from the place of being a believer in Yahweh as the creator of the universe. And so with that in mind, I'm going to kind of tailor this idea of singing to that. Okay, so singing, singing is powerful because it's not only, it's not only us being able to move our body in a certain way, but our spirit gets engaged. And the other thing that happens is depending on what you're singing, the words are also flowing back into your spirit, into your mind, and changing things. It's really hard to, just like I talk about how, you know, nerves can only feel pain or vibration. They can't feel both. And so the nerve has to make a decision to either feel the pain or move over to vibration. Well, the same thing with singing. It's really difficult to sing words about something triumphant or something beautiful or sing words that, that mean something and move you in your spirit. Uh, that it's hard to sing those words and continue to be feeling anxious or to be able to, or to feel fear. Your body, your spirit cannot handle both. We don't have the bandwidth to be that way. And maybe unless we're schizophrenic, right? So let's talk about singing real quickly. Physically, what does singing do to your body? Okay, if you're singing and you're singing right here, you can sing from your throat or you can sing from your belly. And if you've been, ever been in choir, you know that you're going to be singing from your belly. You're going to be bringing, you're going to be breathing fully and you're going to be really belting out those tunes. As a, I mean, here's, I could sing this song. It's your breath, it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out that's all singing from my throat okay that's not me using my body as an instrument now I'm gonna turn my body into an instrument it's your breath in our lungs so I'm actually pressing air and I'm pushing it through my voice box and it's vibrating and that vibrating is the healing it's that vibration going out of your body and then the vibration coming back into your body is such a healing thing. Now add in raising your arms, going into that Amy Cuddy power pose, but that place where we're commanded to be in scripture of opening up our bodies and raising our arms and feeling that just the openness and, 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 and the release in our bodies as opposed to being tight and stuck and pulled forward into fight or flight and stress mode is so releasing and so powerful. And when we allow the spirit to flow in and speak to us while we're in that place, it's a vulnerable place just to offer that gift of our song. Some of us don't feel like what we sing is as much of a gift as others. We think, oh, well, maybe if I had a beautiful voice, maybe if I could sing like Whitney Houston, then I would sing. No, sing, offer it. Even if you just jam out in your car, but sing and allow the physiological changes to come into your body. I'm gonna read just a few of them here before I move on to the next video. Um, singing properly uses all the things we've been talking about that really nurture your body and help you to release stress and trauma. Deep breath work. You have to breathe deeply to sing and you have to open up your shoulders. You have the proper body positioning. You can use those power poses. It doesn't matter where you are, you can open up your body and feel loose and allow your inner organs to be kind of massaged through that vibration and the movement of your breath. Um, the frequency vibration is huge. Frequency is the massage stroke that I use when I want to stop pain in the body. And it works. It's powerful. So you can vibrate right here. And if you're a geek like me, go to YouTube and watch the vibration that happens in the vocal cords when someone sings. Um, the other benefits of singing, it, it uh, strengthens the immune system. 
It's a workout. It improves your posture. It helps you sleep. It's a natural antidepressant. It lowers stress levels and improves mental alertness. Um, I'm going to post down here some more stuff on singing because it's awesome. One of them will be um, an article about body positioning in the Hebrew language. Um, another one will be, and that's in terms of worship, like the different places that we go to and how worship was translated to be um, just the word worship. But many times in scripture, it was actually a Hebrew word for get on your face or stand with your arms raised or jump around or dance. And so those movements specifically are worship movements that we can bring into our lives that heal. That's why we're told to do them because they're for our good. I'm also going to give the links for the blog, Seven Biblical Reasons Why Singing Matters by Tom Olson. That was an awesome awesome blog. I don't want to steal his thunder. He did a great job. So dig into it, enjoy, and more than anything, start singing.